What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another daily Manchester City transfer update. Remember, rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates for all of the January winter transfer window for you guys to enjoy. So if you want to stay up to date first and fast on YouTube with all the latest Manchester City transfer news, make sure you have subscribed to my channel. We're on that push now to 30,000 subscribers, less than 2k away, so any help towards that would be fantastic. Also don't forget social media links, they're in the description below and slide across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too if you want to go and hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries. Also, don't forget TikTok link in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. That would be much appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts and what you make of these transfers in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up too if you do enjoy this video. 300 likes once more is the aim. Finally, do go and check out today's video sponsor, which is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped very kindly sent me the new Lawnmower 4.0. You can go and get yours too, and you can get 20% off code JSGC, use that at checkout and that will give you 20% off your basket with all products on Manscaped. Go and check it out, links and details, they are in the description. So we're going to crack on with this video, we've got some outs to speak about first and we're going to start off with an update on Josh Adam. Now David Ornstein has said that FC Lorient over in uh, France are working to try and sign Josh Adam from Manchester City. Now Ornstein says that work is still to be done uh, but both clubs are optimistic uh, that an agreement can be found. Now Adam is a Scottish 18 year old midfielder. No mention in the article of whether it's going to be a loan or a permanent move but it does say that he's got 18 months left on his Manchester City contract and with negotiations taking place I'm going to presume that they're working on a permanent transfer here and rather than a loan however the longer this goes on towards transfer deadline day as with all deals it's more likely that deals will become a loan rather than a permanent because it takes so much negotiations it takes up so much time and effort to get all the paperwork and everything in place that by the time you're in mid-season with games coming thick and fast too focus isn't just on transfers but also on football as well so when you leave it late it's very difficult to get transfers over the line loan deals are easier to get done than permanent deals it doesn't mean permanent deals won't be done they can still of course be done i'm just saying the closer that we do get towards transfer deadline day i would say the chances of a deal uh, going from permanent to a loan becomes more and more likely as each day goes by but still plenty of time left in the January winter transfer window and any update that I do get on 18 year old Josh Adam living, uh, leaving Manchester City for France I will keep you guys informed of course first and fast on YouTube. Now moving on to the end we've got the very latest on Maximo Perone. Now in my last transfer update uh, we're speaking uh, about Cesar Louis Merlo over on Twitter saying everything's done and dusted. It's going to be a contract until 2028. The summer here uh, in the UK of 2028 is an £8.2 million fee and everything is now in place and completed for that transfer for him to travel over to England uh, to have his medical Cool. Uh, and of course have his picture and his contract signed now uh, it's, there's a bit there's, there's, it's it's a bit uh yeah, I, I'm not sure uh, about this word contract signed. They make it sound like Manchester City have had representatives in Argentina that he sat down, held talks and negotiations over his contract uh, and this piece of paper with his contract, the, the reports make it sound like it has been signed. Now, I'm not 100% certain that the contract has been signed. They may well have given the verbal agreement on this. I'm not too sure whether they've actually got the signature or not. Uh, they might. They may not as well, uh, I'm not too sure, but Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that Manchester City have indeed uh, agreed a deal to sign Maximo Perone from Velez Sarfield. Uh, a fee has been agreed. He says that the contract has been signed, uh, as Cesar Louis Merlo has also said that the contract has been signed. So if that is the case, and I presume City have had uh, representatives in Argentina to get that transfer done, as he's currently with the, the national uh, under-20 team um, competing in the uh, sub-America, Americano. Um, so, 
Yeah, I presume Manchester City have got representatives out there to get this transfer done because the, the way that it's been described by reliable sources close to the deal, uh, they're saying that everything is completed, that everything is done. Now, I know for a fact that a medical, as of yet, hasn't been completed by uh, Perone. He will complete a medical when he flies over to England once Argentina uh, uh, are obviously exited out of the competition, whether they go on to win it or knocked out an earlier phase. But as soon as that does happen, he'll travel over to England. He'll sign his contract if it's not already been done. He'll complete his medical. City will sign that paperwork off, submit that paperwork. He'll hold up his City shirt. He'll smile. They'll take a picture. They'll put that uh, on our social media post and on the website and they'll formally announce the, the signing of Maximo Perone. Now, one thing I want to keep an eye on here is Manchester City can get this transfer done before transfer deadline day if they want to. City can set up a medical in South America to get that sorted. City can take a shirt across with them with Perone's agreed number on and his name and him hold it up and get everything sorted. City don't actually have to wait until February to get everything in place. City can get everything sorted now if they want to and then he just travels over at the end of the competition and City can just literally put a very little par uh, paragraph right at the end of the official statement just saying he'll join up with City in February once the competition's been concluded. Done and dusted. As of yet, we're still waiting on that. But as I said, all sources now pointing towards uh, Maximo Perone is a Manchester City player. Everything has been completed. We are literally just waiting for the final formalities and for this transfer to be made official. When that will be, who knows? Who knows, everybody? Who knows? But remember, £8.2 million fee. He signs on a contract until June 2028, so a five uh, and a half year contract. All done and dusted. Medical picture website. That's what we're waiting on here with this transfer. So do remember, I am going to keep you guys up to date first and fast with all the latest Manchester City transfer news on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, also, don't forget as well, social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. TikTok link also in the description too if you want to go and follow me on there. Um, also, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. 300 likes once more is the aim also don't forget to uh, to let me know your thoughts what you make of these transfers in the comments below and finally this video is sponsored and it's brought to you by manscaped this video is brought to you by manscaped.com the premium global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products manscaped provide the best tools equipment and liquids for every body part they have been kind enough to send me the new lawnmower 4.0 the lawnmower 4.0 is a cordless trimmer with a wireless charging system providing 90 minutes on one full charge on the lithium eon battery the trimmer has led lights on the front to show battery life and also on the trimmer for a more precise shave ceramic blades with skin safe technology are provided Provided to help reduce nicks and cuts. Four trimmer guard options are also available to customise your hair length. The Lawn Mower 4.0 is waterproof, allowing for easy cleanup. A new travel lock feature is built in to prevent vibrations whilst on the go. So come and join me and 2 million other men worldwide who trust Manscaped when it comes to keeping yourself clean and tidy. Use code JSGC for 20% off and free worldwide shipping. Thank you very much to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. If you want to go and check them out, then links and details there in the description. Remember, use code JSGC at checkout and cop yourself 20% off. And I'll see you all again tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer update. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now. <laughs>